In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Design Browser History. So we're given a browser uh, history class. We want to design those following methods. So basically, for a design browser history, we want to design a browser that of one tap where we start on the home page. And we can visit another URL and get back in the history of number of steps and move forward in the history of number of steps. So just like how we have in our Google Chrome or Firefox or uh, Internet Explorer, uh, we can be able to go back and go forward. So we want to implement the browser history class. And this browser history uh, class has following methods. So we have four. So the first one, we initialize the object with the home page of the browser. So in this case, the home page is going to be the, our current page. And we're also going to have a visit method, which takes a URL and we want to visit uh, that page and then set that, uh, set that URL as going to be the current page. So this is going to be the current page. And once we set that as a current page, we're going to clear up all the four histories, right? Because we can go, go back and go forward. Um, but if there's no forward, right, if we are going to visit another link, then we cannot go forward anymore, right? So in this case, we also have a method called back, which takes number of steps that you want to go back. In this case, now we can be able to move steps back in the history. Now, if we have a situation where, where there's only two items that we can go back, where there's only two steps that we can go back, but we want to go back 10 times, or we want to go back five times, which we don't have, then we can just go back a um, number of times, right? In this case, how many, how many uh, history that we have. In this case, we only have two items in the history, then we can just go back two, two, two step back, right? Um, and then same thing as forward. So if I, if I, I can go to forward, I can go to the forward. If, if I don't have any, uh, forward history, then I don't have to go back. Uh, I don't have to go forward. If I have only one step to go forward, if I only have one history or one link or one URL that I can go forward, but I want to go, but the steps here is like 10 then I can just only go one step forward, right? And let me show you an example. So here you can see we have an example where we initialize this class, right? Browser history. And then basically we visit google.com. So inside our uh, array or whatever, our, whatever data structure that we're gonna use, so we're gonna have Google. And then we're gonna have Facebook, right? So we have Facebook. And we also have YouTube. Okay, I'll just put wide there. And then if I want to go back, right? So in this case, because we're visiting those URLs as well as we initialize this. So in this case, we also need lead code. So let's put lead code here. Right? So in this case, we're visiting Google, visiting Facebook, visiting YouTube. And then if I want to go back, if I want to go back one step, then it's going to be right here. Okay, and then this will return the current page that we're on. So in this case, it's going to be facebook.com. And if I want to go back one more, that's going to be google.com. And if I want to go forward, and that's going to be facebook.com, right? So in this case, we're, we can go back and we can go forward. So in this case, we can also, um, in this case, if we were to visit another link, right? So currently we're on stand, we're currently on Facebook, right? We're currently on this page. If I want to go, if I want to visit another link, then we want to, in this case, we're visiting link, uh, LinkedIn.com. So in this case, we have to clear up all the history that we have for. So these are the four histories, right? We have YouTube and these are the, the, the back or the, 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 the backward histories. So in this case, we had to remove the forward history and then we're going to add forward or sorry, in this case, uh, LinkedIn.com as our forward link, right? So in this case, current page now is going to be LinkedIn, right? So we're going to have LinkedIn. So we're current, our, our, uh, our current page is on LinkedIn. So if I were to go forward two steps, in this case, we don't, we do not have a forward history. So in this case, we cannot go forward. And uh, if I want to go back two steps, in this case, for, from LinkedIn, we're going, going back. In this case, first, we're going to Facebook. Now we're going to Google. And in this case, we're going to, uh, our current page now is on Google, right? So that's why we're turning Google.com.
And if I want to go back seven steps, in this case, we do not have that many steps. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going, right? We're gonna go to delete code and we realize that there's no more, um, there's no more steps that we can go back. Then we're just gonna return the current link. In this case, it's gonna be leak code. So we're currently on leakcode.com. okay? So how can we solve this problem? So one way we can solve this problem is that we can use two stacks because for stack the structure is last in first out. So the last one element inserted onto the stack is the first element that we remove out of the stack. So if I want to insert leak code in this case, so the current page is on leak code, right? And if I want to insert another page, in this case, Google, we're visiting Google, then the top element is the current page, in this case, Google. If I want to insert another one, which is Facebook or and YouTube, so the current page is on YouTube. And if I want to go back, right, I can be able to uh, put the top element that we have onto the back, onto the forward history. So we're going to have a backward history. And we can also have a forward history. And we're going to add Facebook, or sorry, YouTube, onto the forward history. So in this case, we're going to have Facebook as the top element that we have on our back on our backward stack and we're going to put youtube on here you can be able to return facebook.com and then if i want to go back one more i can remove the top element that we have on, on facebook and add it on to forward stack so we have facebook here okay and then i will basically return the top element that we have on our backward um stack in this case is google right so in this case we can do that and then now if i want to add linkedin and in this case we're just added on to backward uh the backward stack linkedin and then we delete all the elements that we have in the forward stack right so now we have three elements in our backward stack and zero elements that in our forward stack so if i want to go forward two more right so in this case if i were to go forward I will pop each and every single elements off the forward stack and add it onto our backward stack. And then in this case, we don't we do not have any items in our forward stack, so we cannot we just have to return our current link. In this case, LinkedIn. If I want to go back, right? So in this case, currently we're on LinkedIn. If I want to go back, I will just add LinkedIn and Google onto the forward stack, and so on and so forth, right? So that way works. But as you can see here, we're basically popping each and every single items off the forward stack. So in this case, it works, but there's a better way to do this because from what we did done here, it looks something like a doubly linked list, right? Where we can be able to go forward and we can be able to go backwards. So to use a doubly linked list, what it looks like is something like this, where we initialize a current uh, head node, right? Which is going to be leadcode.com. I'll just put lead and then I have a doubly linked list, right? In this case, if I visit Google, I have another node which has a value of Google, right? We, if I were to go to another link, in this case, Facebook, right? So in this case, I can go there. And if I want to go back, in this case, I can also go back as well. So I can go back here, go back here. And if I cannot go back anymore, I'll just return this current link, right? And if I want to, if I'm currently on leadcode.com and I want to go to, let's say I want to go to LinkedIn, right? Standing from here, I want to go to LinkedIn. Then what I can do is I can delete this connection, right? I can delete this connection and I can get leadcode.com points to LinkedIn, uh, another link or linkedin.com, right? And this is going to be a doubly linked list. So we can have our connection there. If I go back, I can go back. If I go forward, I can go forward. And this way we don't have to delete every single items that we have in our stack, right? Or in our forward history stack. We can just uh, change the connection, right? Instead of pointing to google.com, we can point to the new node that we created. In this case, it's LinkedIn, right? And then if I want to go forward, if I cannot go forward anymore, we can just return the current nodes URL link, right? So now you know how we can solve this problem using a uh, doubly linked list. Now let's take a look at how we can solve, uh, do this in code. So to do this in code, first what I did is I created a list node and this list node has a URL 
and it also has a previous pointer as well as a nest pointer. So what we've basically done here is I create a head node, a dummy head node and dummy tail node. And I also have a current node, which is points to the current page that we're on. Here I create a, uh, which is a constructor, right? Which we basically defines the head node and the tail node. We also define the current node with the home page. We insert this node in this case between, in this case, I have a method called insert, which takes the previous node, the node and the nest node. In this case, we're inserting the current node between the prev and the nest. So the prev is the head, the nest is the tail. So in this case, we're going to, we're going to have a dummy head node and a dummy tail node. We're inserting between those two, right? And then in this case, we are getting the prev.nest is the, the node that we create and node.prev is going to be the previous node that we created. So we're going to form this connection. Uh, in this case, is going to be the node that we create, right? As well as for me, this connection. So it's doubly linked list, so we we can be able to go back and forward. And uh, we can also, in this case, we can visit the page, right? In this case, if I were to visit the page, I will create um, a new node, and then we're just going to insert it between the current and the tail node, right? So in this case, I could have like the head, the dummy head node right here. Maybe this is Google. This is probably Facebook, right? And then if I want to insert another link here, and then you can see this is our dummy node, dummy tail node. If I want to insert here, in this case, I would just get uh, this as the previous node, and this is the, the 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 nest node, and we're inserting between the 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 tail node and the dummy tail node. So then you can see we're getting the current pointer points to the nest current, so that the current page is going to be the the new the current page that we're visiting, right? And then at the end, we're going to um, also going to have two methods, forward and backwards, right? We can go back and go forward. So the steps, in this case, while well, step is bigger than zero, and the current dot prev, which is the previous node, is not equal to the head or the dummy head, right? Then we can keep going. We can get the current is equal to current dot prev. We're basically going backwards uh, the steps number of times, right? So in this case, we're at the end. If we get to a point where we uh, traverse the link list steps number of times, right? The steps is the parameter. So in this case, we can just return a current node.url, right? And remember, this the list node has a URL um, which stores the, the the current links data, right? And then we also has a forward method which takes the steps in integer, and we just traversing uh, steps number of times forward. If I if the current dot nest is does not equal to tail. We're going to keep traversing. We're going to keep moving forward. If in this case, if current.nest is equal to tail, then we're going to stop and we're going to get the current return to current.url, right? So we want also want to make sure we traverse the entire steps. If we can't, we want to make sure we just uh, return the current node.url. So now if we were to run our code and you can see we have our are accepted, right? So now let's try to submit. And you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the design browser history uh, legal problem.